Security guards. Think I'll let them stand in the way of five million bucks? Nightbirds, right? Yeah. yeah! Okay. Now, Nicole and I will be your tour guides for this overnight camp out. Now, I guess you guys think you know the aquarium pretty well, right? Right. right? right. Ah, but what happens in the aquarium after dark? Do the fish sleep? Do the sharks order out for pizza? Do the lizards crawl everywhere? Yeah. I hate little kids. Adam. So I'm late. Come on, Adam. Your folks are only gone until Monday. I didn't think you'd mind spending a couple of days with us. Don't get neurotic. It's nothing personal. So how come the droopy face? L.A. They're going to L.A. What's Los Angeles got that we haven't? It's a city just like this. Really? Then call a cab and we'll go to Hollywood. That's neat. Adam. Good, it works. It's a bribe from my dad. He let me have it for the weekend. Great, you can make an award-winning documentary, sell it for big bucks, they'll be begging you to go to Hollywood. Okay. Say something dramatic and interesting. Adam, I can't. Put that away. The aquarium is now closed and will reopen at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Now what? Well, there's an exit door right over there. Getting out will be no problem. Security in this place is a joke. I'm not laughing. <laughs> You'll be laughing all the way to the bank after we get what's ours. I'll wait in here, give everybody a chance to go home. Locked. Oh, beautiful, bro. Beautiful. Oh, relax, there's lots of places. Here, this'll do. I don't understand why this has to be dealt with tonight. Well, everything's here, Dr. Dunbar. Excellent. First class. It's very impressive, Mr. Lockhart, but why the hurry? The will was very explicit, Dr. Roberts. To the city aquarium, my entire collection of tropical exotica and a new tank for their public display, a grant of $250,000 for its maintenance in perpetuity. <laughs> very generous. Mr. Shields was a longtime friend of the aquarium. On condition that, A, the existent habitats of the fish be strictly maintained, B, the donor's portrait be prominently displayed above the tank, and C, the fish be put on display immediately upon probate of the will. That was today. That's why we have to deal with this tonight. Yeah, Charlie always was. Uh, a little eccentric, to say the least. Got me up at 3 o'clock in the morning to treat Finrod. You should consider yourselves fortunate. Aside from this bequest and $100,000 to the Owl Sanctuary, there was no other estate. That's ridiculous. Charlie was a multimillionaire. 
What about his two sons? Yes. <clears throat> to my uninspired sons, James and Paul, I leave these final words of wisdom. To succeed in life, you have to find real grit. Uh, what does that mean? Sounds like another test. He was always doing that to them. He used to hide their birthday presents. What about the rest of his fortune? Gone, vanished. Even his penthouse and the furniture were rented. Well, Charlie, hope you had a good time with it. Sharks hunt by night. They never sleep. They use their sense of smell to hunt so they can find their prey in total darkness. Where's that light coming from? Adam! Everybody stay here. Just don't move, okay? Please. Adam, get away from there. Do you want to get eaten alive? I'm making a movie. Indiana Roberts in the Aquarium of Doom. That's really cool. Can I be in it? I know how to act. Maybe. Adam, don't you dare do that again. I need action. Making a movie was your idea. I didn't tell you to go crazy with it. All right, all right. What a grouch. Do it, don't do it. Some fun. I've always wanted to be in a movie. Yeah, well... Okay, okay. I'll call you when we get to your part. So where's the killer whale? Sean. Out. Out. Making movies is tough, you know. Harlequin Tusk. Zosker's Butterfly. And a blue-faced angel. They're wonderful. These are great specimens, Grant. They're wonderful, all right, but they're not worth several million dollars. How did he make his money? Mining and prospecting in South America. Old Brazil Charlie had a lot of wild stories. I never heard any of them. That's because you never treated his gourmies in the middle of the night. M middle of the night? Oh! George, don't even think about it. Sorry. Board meeting. I gotta go. If I can, I'll be back. Dunbar, you deserter! What's this, JJ? I don't know. I should take my umbrella. Ah, my chance fate. I wonder if there's any animals in here. Ah, oh, let's see what mysteries lurk in sort of laboratory. Will I do? I thought you'd gone home for the night, Dad. Duty calls. What's your plan now? We go to the lab. That's where they gotta be. What makes you so sure? We're not gonna put fish in the boardroom. Come on. Dad, where did all these fish come from? Brazil. Really? Aren't they wonderful? Do any of them eat people? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're busy, Dad, we'll come back later. Actually, if you like, you guys could help me check in our new arrivals. Yeah, yeah. we can. Right this way, kids. Yeah. Have you seen Adam? Yeah. Not Adam. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. It's a nursery school in there. Why aren't those kids in bed? What do we do now, bro? We wait. There you are, old man, smiling away. Yeah, just like he used to laugh when he'd hide our allowance and make us look for it. We're still looking. What if someone's already found it? Nobody touches our money. Nobody. Deep beneath the Red Sea, Indy meets a terrifying fish of death. 
Its great mass overshadows any battle-worn body. The great fish attacked and they struggled tooth and knife. Hello? Is anyone there? Nicole, is that you? Okay, Nicole. I know it's you. You can't scare me. Just go ahead and jump out anytime you like. Nicole! Adam Berman? Adam, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a movie. You're driving me crazy. I don't know what you're so worried about. I've been all over this place about a million times. Not in the dark, you haven't. Now you stay with the group or you won't live to see Hollywood. Got it? I bet Steven Spielberg didn't have to put up with this. That showbiz, Adam. There we go. Nice and easy. They hate sudden changes. So try and remember that when you're changing the water in your fish tank at home. You wouldn't like it if your mother made you sit in the freezer while she cleaned your room, would you? No. Good jokes. <laughs> I could always use funny dialogue. Hello, Adam. How's the movie going? Oh, just fine, but I've changed the title. Really? What's it called now? Nicole's Adventures in Babysitting. <laughs> okay, kids, let's oh, move yeah. along to the tropical gallery. Okay, take rolling. Lots of energy. This tank is going to take a couple of hours to fill, so why don't we join them? I've got a better idea. I'll bet you have. You could put on your lab coat and do something weird and I can film it. What do you think of that? I think you picked the wrong boy to be a movie star. Come on, you can film some tropical fish instead. Yippee. I understand that Jacques Cousteau got his start taking pictures of fish in an aquarium. Yeah? No, but it makes a good fish story. Return from the underworld. Seek revenge on all humans. <gasps> What'll they do? Suck your eyeballs out? Worse! <laughs> all right. Oh boy, that's what I need. The giant octopus has slurped LA. I'll meet you at the tropical tank, Adam, and save some tape for the night fish. Slurp, slurp, slurp. I really like the old man. Tricks or no tricks. Yeah, he just didn't think we had enough grit. Yeah, yeah. To succeed in life, you have to find real grit. That's just another one of his riddles, Paul. Yeah, it's got to have something to do with the fish. There ain't five million dollars worth of fish in the world. Okay, wise guy, you figure it out. What about this? Maybe hit some stocks and bonds or something. I'll check out this tag. I don't know why the old man got so excited over his dumb fish. Yeah, stupid hobby. Nothing. Frame costs a dollar ninety-nine. This is just a fish tank. I don't know where else it could be. All that's left of these aquariums. It's got to be in one of them. Wait a second. Give me that. Why? It's not made of platinum. It's the old man. Old prospector Charlie. Hey, yeah. Maybe there's a clue inside. Nothing. Well, what was he digging for in there? Nothing. It was just a stupid gravel and, and grit. Grit? Yeah, well, all this all this colored junk. Hey, wait a minute. Well, we finally found our grit. What is it? It's an uncut diamond, little brother. About five carats, worth maybe 15,000 wholesale. And this red one is a ruby. 
and here's an emerald. <laughs> oh, oh, what? He must have spent a, a year setting up this joke. And he was going to leave them out there on display, grinning at them. What a guy. What's my brain? <laughs> what are you doing here, kid? Get back to your class. Gotcha! Gotcha on tape! That's it, guys. Nice and scary. Hey, little creep! No way, I'm telling Dr. Roberts! No, you aren't! Give me that tape now! You can't go without that videotape. Forget it. We, we, we got what we came for. Sure. And the aquarium people see it and do us for theft. Oh. We better find him. Okay, guys, over here we have the coral reef exhibits. It looks just the same as it does in the day. Well, the pajama fish come out at night. Really? Pajama fish? Where? No, not really. But I almost fooled you. See the fish by the coral reef over there? The striped one? No, not the clownfish. <laughs> one Sorry, one. Dad. I thought Adam was a fish. He is. Now you're going to. No, he's not. He's, really he's gone again. Hell he's back so there shooting no, the serious. octopus that is ate California. Yeah, there it is, in the picture. That's why his teeth are so sharp. Jonah, we'll be right back. Okay, Dad. Don't worry, he's around here someplace. Oh, I hope so. He's my responsibility, and I keep on losing him. Well, you can't hold back an artist. He's probably in the lab making Friday on Elm Street. In my day, it was crayons and coloring books. Because it gives me a headache. Hey, JJ, I'm losing my grit. Dad, look at this. Footprints. Three sets of them. Adam's in trouble. This is the only way out of here. I don't want to hurt the kid, but without that tape, we're back to two cents in the bank. Oh, little boy! I know you're in here. Oh, uh, give us a tape, and we'll let you go. Let me get it, gut bags. Ah, oh, my God. Help! Let's get him. Where'd he go? This way. and call the police. Tell Jonah to meet me at the otter pool and you stay with the kids. Yes, officer, please hurry. Remember the sharks? Oh, they were so scary. Yeah. Oh, it scared me so much. Okay, group, what movie did you pick? Surf Zombie 6. Yeah! yeah. Lovely. Yeah, watch this great. Movie. Lake horror movie. They could be anywhere. Shh, listen. Whoa! Hey, it's okay, Adam, we're here. Two men, big guy and a little guy, rent the lab, found the diamonds, took pictures. They chased me to get the tape. Diamonds? In the fish tank. Millions. Don't let them get me. Not a chance. Where'd he go, bro? I don't know. Let's get out of here.
I've had it. These guys paid their admission. They shouldn't miss the show, should they? Let's get out of here, bro. That wouldn't be fair. You do the lights, I'll do the action. You stay here. Down there somewhere. I've had it. They see that tape, we lose it all. I don't care, it's not worth it. <laughs> Five million bucks? Okay. Okay. Just give us a call. Well, it looks like everything's under control now. Thanks for coming by. So who do these belong to? Well, we'll find out when old Charlie's lawyer gets you. Well, I'll bet these gems are worth a small fortune. Like, I'm sorry we scared you like that. It's been a rough night. I didn't fall in the well, Paul. Take care of yourself. You're a gutsy kid. Thanks. So long. I should leave you alone more often, Grant. Have you any idea what we can do here with five million dollars? Well, I'm not sure they're ours, George. The will didn't mention them. Of course it does. Fish, tank, environment. That covers it. Does it not, Mr. Lockard? Theoretically, Dr. Dunbar, but I was to open this envelope if anything unusual happened to the memorial collection. <laughs> I love it. If my boys have gotten off their duffs and worked out where I left the stones, they own them. Congratulations, boys. I knew you had the grit. Well, George, easy come, easy go, eh? <laughs> Follows a list of the stones, sizes and value, five and a half million dollars at current market price. And here's a check. If that wise guy Grant Roberts or anyone else at the aquarium caught them doing it, here's another 50,000 to clean up the legal mess. Have fun, boys, your loving father. Well, there won't be any legal fees. It's not against the law to get locked in the aquarium overnight. <laughs> Rand. Well, we made a real mess in here. Maybe the 50 grand could go for brooms and mops? Uh, very generous, Mr. Shields. Uh, would you like a receipt for that? got a real future in the movie business. I was really scared, you know. I know. You won't tell them, will you? 